Introduction Later this month, Defense Minister Nirmala Sitarman will launch India's second indigenous nuclear submarine, INS Arid Haman. Following its launch, the new vessel will undergo sea trials and will be inducted into service no later than 2019. Arid Haman's launch comes at a time of growing tensions in the Indian Ocean region. Analysts say there has been a spike in the Chinese naval presence in the Indian Ocean. Just days after India objected to China's construction of a road on the Doklam Plateau, there has been an increase in the activity of Chinese naval vessels in the Indian Ocean region, IOR. Number 5. Outline. INS Arid Haman is the second Arihant class submarine. It is the second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine being built by India. It is being built under the Advanced Technology Vessel, ATV, project to build nuclear submarines at the shipbuilding center in Visakhapatnam. This submarine will have double the number of missile hatches than its predecessor in Zarihunt giving it the ability to carry more missiles. This will have a more powerful reactor than its predecessor. Number 4 Current Situation Strategic experts warn that China would use its superior naval might to choke India in the Indian Ocean in the event of a conflict. China's growing trade with countries in Africa and West Asia means that maintaining access to the Indian Ocean is a priority for Beijing. However, there is always a possibility that India and the US, which maintains a significant presence in the Indian Ocean, may see this Chinese naval activity as a threat to their own interests. Number 3 Armament She can carry 24 K15 SLBM, 750, 1900 km range, missiles or 8K4 SLBM, 4000 to 5000 km range, missiles which are still under development under the very secretive Project Black. All these missiles are kept inside her 8 missile launch tubes, which are double as compared to her predecessor in Zarihunt. She also has 6, 21, 533 mm, torpedo tubes which can carry 30 charges, which include torpedoes, missiles, or mines. She is also fitted with the active and passive Usha sonar which was developed indigenously by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Number 2. General Characteristics. She has a displacement of 6,000 tons, 5,900 long tons, 6,600 short tons, surfaced. A length of 112 meters with beam of 11 meters and draft of 10 meters. She is powered by a powerful 83 megawatt pressurized water nuclear reactor and can attain a maximum speed of 12 to 15 knots, 22 to 28 kilometers per hour, when surfaced and 24 knots, 44 kilometers per hour, when submerged and has been tested to a depth of 350 meters, 1,100 feet. All this is managed by a crew of 95 sailors and officers on board the submarine. Number 1. Future Implications The launch of INS Arid Haman comes just months after China announced the start of the sea trials of its first domestically built aircraft carrier. Locked in competition, New Delhi sees no option but to boost its own capability. One way of doing so is by building its own nuclear sub. Further, in recent years China has been expanding its naval capabilities, and has been very active in the Indian Ocean region, IOR, and its various submarines have docked in places surrounding India, which include Gwadar port. Citing these incidents, expanding its naval fleet is a must for New Delhi.